Abracadabra, my gorgeous Aquarius. How are you doing? Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we are doing the classic you versus them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person, my baby, my boo boo, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bundle date, marriage. All right, so let's see. Please, uh, angels of love, show me what is going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and their person in June 2024. We assume some kind of a rift or separation and the you versus them reads. Oh, Aquarius, how are you doing? Let me know in the comments below. I love you so much. Whatever is happening, it's going to be okay, baby. Yeah, King of Cups. Person loves you. Uh, they still love you. They love you so much. So much. A little too much. They hate you a little too much. This is a separation for sure. Um, are you talking? I don't think you're talking. If you're talking, it's like mm, very, very reserved, very kind of like or, or in, inconsistent, inconclusive kind of, you know, words and sentences and things. The hermit at the bottom of the deck and beneath the hermit, temperance. So, you know, very temperate very cool very cool detached communication but i don't think there is any i think this is a separation separation could have occurred in uh scorpio season last year for some of you the king of cups but um it doesn't have to be the case take it as it resonates but the king of cups is telling this person is still crazy in love with you you could be dealing with a water sign you could be dealing with a scorpio uh they see with someone that they can't figure out right now like they know they can't figure you out they know that they triggered some um type of trauma in you as well they triggered um old wounds in you with their behavior they know it they're almost saying like, you know, the person looks at themselves in the mirror when they're not with you and they see your face. They see, you know, your ghost looms over them. They know that they did you a big boo boo. And they, <laughs> my crown is askew, excuse, excuse me. My crown is askew boo boo. Um, you know, they, they did you a big boo boo. They're, try, uh, they're trying to run away from that thought, but it's not possible because every time they perceive themselves in the mirror and in, in, in a shop window, like wherever, like they may be, whenever they see their reflection, they see your face. Some of you are dealing with an artist, specifically a musician or someone who, um, it's just very poetic, artistic. They could have been writing poetry for you. you. Maybe that's how they romanced you, you know, wrote you songs and poetry. Oh, but boom. They're looking very sad to me. This is someone who, this could be someone who's, um, who's rich or successful in their own right. So it's somebody who uh, was born into a good, quote unquote good family rich family they have affluence the like trust fund you know trust fund baby nepo baby um okay trust fund blue eyes kind of a situation like the meme like the tiktok thing what is it six four is it six four six two trust fund blue eyes um it's kind of like that. There's something, you know, that person was born lucky, but they kind of effed it up for themselves. Um, I'm not sure what their blockage is, so let's see. Uh, they're spending a lot of time by themselves. Um, someone could have a house in the country or a house like somewhere like, you know, in the middle of nowhere. I see pastures and meadows and mountains. So uh, maybe they're like re renting like an Airbnb in the mountains or they actually have a house um, in the mountains or in the country somewhere on the countryside what is this person's blockage yeah issues from the past even if this person is lucky in the sense of having money and status they're not lucky when it comes to feelings they were neglected as a child and that neglect caused them to do boo-boos to other people be selfish be stupid um to sabotage connections uh before we get into your person's uh, sins though let me just say aquarius welcome to blue angel of tarot i love you i see you i appreciate you give your mommy a kiss mm -hmm. you know you're my favorites boo boo because i'm scorpio sun and rising but we're like we're like the terrible duo we're, we're two gangsters um scorpio is all about the underworld you're all about the skies and the heavens we both see the big picture we see in the darkness and you see from above so I love you, baby. You're always in my life. I don't know. I always have so many Aquariuses in my life. Also, Aquarius, my boo-boo. 
If you are interested in a personal tarot reading, all the info is down below. And I have a special promo for magic spells uh, only. If you're interested in a magic spell, uh, all of the magic spells listed in the description box are now half price. So whatever price you're seeing there, it's going to be half price until the end of the summer. It is the summer of love. So uh, hit me up for a free email consultation if you're interested. No obligation, no pressure. You know how it is at Blue Angel Love Tarot. So, Bibo, to get back to your person, uh, this person immediately when they met you, if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone in between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, they perceived straight away that you are their karma. It was meant to be. Like, they felt it. Look, justice. But they knew they would have to be on their best behavior, and that was something they couldn't quite do. Mm-hmm. Uh, the two of wands for you. So uh, you were curious, you know, as Aquarius does, you were curious. You wanted to uh, explore. You wanted to see where is this going to go? How is, is this going to work out? Like, I'll give it a chance, but Bill, there's something about this person that was enticing, that was exciting, that was scrumptious. I think they were saying all the right things, but they couldn't couldn't quite do do the thing. The four of wands got in between you. So uh, that person's family of origin got between the two of you how they were raised they could also have a baby or a kid with someone um who's like a baby mommy daddy any uh, anyone in between and that whole situation got in uh, in between the two of you very early on in the connection and, and that person kind of left you without answers they triggered something in you they triggered mm, mm, you feeling uh insecure in the situation uh, without information without knowing what's going on could have been the kind of person who was you know, all about it, they were like singing your praises, romancing, writing you poetry. And then like literally 10 minutes later, two days, uh, two hours later, they'd be like, oh, but you know, like I, I can't get involved because you know, you have to understand my, my baby comes first, even though I'm not with my ex anymore. And you're like, well, I didn't ask you to be, you know, it, it was kind of like weird, disjointed energy. You're, you were thinking, like, why well, didn't ask you to be? We only just met, but that person, you know, they'd like oscillate between the highs and the lows. If it was an established connection, it was somebody who, um, hmm, 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 hmm. they were coming and going between you and a past family, and it really hurt you. You were constantly uh, hoping that something would change, the two of wands, that you could uh, cross over to a better situation, a higher ground, but it just never happened. And I think you kept uh, hoping for that, and that person kept hoping for that. We're, we're making you hope for that. Uh, just as here, so uh, that person, when they got into a relationship with you, could have been not fully divorced, not fully you know, rid of a past situation. They had obligations uh, in a previous situation. And they kept telling you, they kept promising you they would be fully available soon enough, soon enough. Uh, and four long years could, could have passed, or 11 years for some of you. And it just wasn't changing, but boo. Uh, and that's why this person left you with the two of swords, you know, feeling like, um, you know, number two, basically. You weren't number one. You were always like somewhere down on the scale. You could have had a full on family together and that person was constantly given on to a past family anyway. And it was extremely hurtful. Uh, that person could have also been threatening divorce with you or kept promising I'm going to get fully divorced, fully separated from another situation, but they never did. Douche flute, all right? Boom. Douche flute. You deserve so much better than that. The Three of Pentacles. Uh, Aquarius, I'm going to be honest with you. I think this person wants to continue in the, uh, in the situation they're in, you know, with uh, obligation to a past family or their family of origin whatever rut they're stuck in they have no intention of getting unstuck they want to keep promising you that things will change but they are coming in with some kind of a, a gift or an apology at least to give you that satisfaction the king of pentacles here um so by the end of the summer by virgo season we're getting a lot of end of the summer reads today because it is the summer of love as always with blue angel love tarot by the end of the summer that person is coming back with a gift they're coming back with a new offer uh, they're coming back seemingly changed, but are they truly, uh, your advice is strength, so be careful because there's a lot of power struggle energy to this person. Let's see what the advice is for Aquarius. Um, it's going to be okay, Aquarius. Always remember, you deserve the best of the best. You know that, baby. The cream of the cream. Ace of Cups. Wowzers. A lot of boo-boos are getting this, uh, this as their advice today. Uh, the Ace, sorry, the, the Ace of Cups. What is love? Is this person capable of love? Are they deserving of your love? How big is your love? 
How big is their love? Is this a match? Do they make you feel safe and secure? If you were drowning in the sea, would they freaking save you, Babu? Or would they just let you drown? Who else is coming in for Aquarius? Seven of Cups. You have a lot of options. You're not seeing them right now. I would connect to the goddess of love, goddess Aphrodite, Venus, you know, whatever goddess of love you're connecting to, Inanna, Ishtar. Um, ask the goddess of love for guidance. She will guide you. She'll show you the way. She'll show you the path to other alternatives should you want to pursue them. It's all about free will on this channel, but you have many, many other options. You may not be seeing them because this person is kind of obscuring, uh, obscuring your view or overshadowing your perspective on love. So just remember, you are popular and gorgeous and scrumptious, and you are the cream of the cream. Let me know in the comments below, Aquarius, if um, uh, this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'll be with my papa. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect.